sharing our meals, style, routine, work, friendships, relationships, opinions, exercises, likes and lives has become so normal, it's now compulsive. We joke that if you didn't post it, it didn't happen. But what if one day you went to post your beautiful meal on Instagram and you can't find the app anywhere? There's also no YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, or Pinterest. This can't be happening. Social media has disappeared. I really wish you could click those. Would there be chaos? And how would communication change? How would your brain change? This is what if. And here's what would happen if social media stopped working. You would be understandably upset. Social media is a huge part of everyday life. With those 16 to 24 years of age, spending three hours a day, on average, using social media. At this rate, if we live to a ripe old age, we'll end up spending seven years of our entire lives on social media. And it's an amount expected to rise with younger generations. It would be a rough wake-up call to lose connections and friends that were solely based on a social media app like Instagram. You'd immediately feel disconnected, uninformed, and lost. Your brain would also be going through some major withdrawal symptoms. Using social media releases dopamine through the ventral tegmental area of the brain, or VTA. It's the same neurotransmitter that releases those good feelings when you win the lottery, have sex, or eat junk food. It makes us feel oh so wonderful, at least momentarily, and the continuous craving keeps us coming back for more. Basically, social media is a drug, and many of us are willing addicts. The VTA evolved in humans as a social tool, helping us to learn good behavior from bad. Now, the same chemical response once prompted by a real-life friendly hug or celebration for a personal achievement is triggered by virtual likes or hearts or comments. Yet, social media can make us feel the opposite of happy. The fear of missing out, anxiety, jealousy, insecurity, and needing instant approval from others these are all impulses that increase with social media use. So while your brain is going through a withdrawal, you'll also be discovering what it feels like not to have to be connected all the time, which could be pretty refreshing. Just remember, we did survive without social media for millennia. One of the first platforms, Friendster, came online in 2002 followed two years later by Facebook. It wasn't until 2005 that YouTube changed our world. Nope! Subscribe! You still have email and Google, so not all is lost. Texting and calling exist, so staying in contact with close friends and family just requires a little more effort. You might begin reading magazines again. Something needs to fill that void where influencers' opinions used to be. You'd also have to get the news the old-fashioned way, without the filter of algorithms. Which means you'd actually be better informed. A 2016 study found 62% of Americans get some form of news from social media. But platforms such as Facebook and Twitter don't have the ethical requirements of traditional journalism. The information on social media channels is not fact-checked, leaving it up to you to figure out what is credible and what is simply an opinion, or worse, a complete lie. However, the actual good news is you might get to know your neighbor. Hi. Hi. 
A lack of social media could bring physical communities closer, since there isn't the online option anymore. We have a complicated relationship <laughs> with social media. It has the potential to be both highly positive and very negative. In the global COVID-19 pandemic of 2020, social media became one of the only ways people could reach out to each other during nationwide lockdowns. It brought comfort, connection, and entertainment during a difficult time. But at the same time, it also spread misinformation about the virus. Social media is not disappearing anytime soon. But it would be worthwhile for your mental health to consider how much time you spend on social platforms. Then make a plan to spend less. There's probably even an app for that. Now you have more time and attention to visit your friends and family in person. Go for a walk. Say hi to your neighbor. Live your real life rather than posting a fake one. Even without social media, the internet has a lot to offer. If that went away, well, we'd be in a much different situation. But that's a story for another What If?